Lesson 1, Unit 6, Adapting the Scope. Changes to project scope will occur in all projects. This is a constant in project management. Changes are not only to fix a problem, but also opportunities to adapt the scope and improve the performance of the project. Changes can come from the context. This is the environment where the project operates. Most development projects operate in dynamic and complex environments, and it's not unusual that the original assumptions have changed, forcing to a re-evaluation of the project, especially when significant social, political, economic, or health events occur in the community or the region. That will force the project to re-evaluate its original plans and develop solutions to mitigate the impact of these events. For example, they need to add more training sessions to accommodate beneficiaries that couldn't attend the first session. Changes also come as opportunities to improve the performance of the project. As the team gets more information and understanding of the context and builds experience, there will be opportunities to review the original strategies and create changes that can increase the efficiency in the use of resources and increase the quality of the project deliverables. For example, a project finds that by increasing the level of participation from community representatives in the collection of monitoring data, they were able to see that more responses were created and also an increase in the quality of the survey data. The Scope Change Control Plan defines the process to request changes, analyze the change, approve the changes, update the project plans, and communicate the changes to all the stakeholders. It includes the people responsible for approving the changes, especially when the change will incur in additional cost. The purpose of this plan is to minimize scope creep, which is the natural tendency of all projects to add work that is not authorized or budgeted for. The scope change control plan includes the change request form. This form is used to document any request for scope changes coming from any project stakeholder, especially the donor or the beneficiaries. The plan includes the actions to analyze the scope change. The analysis is done to determine the impact caused by the change. No change should be included in the scope statement or WBS unless an analysis is made and approval is obtained. The next step in the scope change approval is that the project will appoint key stakeholders responsible for approving any changes. This can include the donor. All changes must be approved before any new work begins. Once a change is approved, the next step is to update the project scope statement and project plans. As a project manager, you must update any relevant project plans, including the schedule, the budget, the scope statement, the log frame, and the WBS. Once all plans have been updated, you will need to communicate to the project team, stakeholders, and management the changes to the project scope. An important component of the scope change control plan is the scope change control request log. This is a simple table that helps monitor all requests for changes to the scope. The first column identifies the person who originated the request, the date of the request, the description of the change, the person responsible for managing the request, the decision on the request, the analysis of the impact of the change in the budget and the schedule, and finally, the log includes a date when the request was approved. The dates can be used to monitor the time it took from the moment a request was proposed until it was approved or rejected. Adapting the scope is a step with the sole purpose of incorporating changes that will provide improvements and increase the project success. Changes to the project that do not add value or have not been approved should not be incorporated in the scope. Only changes that add value, increase the chances of success, or increase the benefits are worth considering. There is no point in changing the scope if the changes will not result in a benefit to the project and the beneficiaries. Changes to scope require a modification on most project management plans. The project team needs to analyze the effects of the changes in all the project management plans. That means that the project plans need to be updated, especially the plans that are affected by the new scope. This can include the schedule, the budget, and quality management plans. It's important to emphasize that the objective of making changes to the scope is to increase the changes for the project to succeed. Once all the plans are updated, you should communicate to all key stakeholders the changes that were made. 
Failure to do this may result in people working with outdated plants, which may lead to delays and cost increases, and that can create beneficiary satisfaction or generate formal complaints from the donors. The communication can occur right after the approval of a change, when the change has significant implications for the project or communicated in the regular communication cycles established to keep all project stakeholders updated. At the end of each project phase or at the completion of a significant milestone, you need to capture the lessons learned in managing the project scope. For example, the lessons learned with defining the scope, managing the scope, dealing with the scope changes, and adapting the scope.